Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, in this session, we are going to talk about how to prepare general awareness for your RBA grade B examination and uh, how to score uh, 60 plus in this uh, phase one examination. So guys, as you know, general awareness is one of the most important subject in your uh, phase one examination. And um, this is one of the most scoring subject for your uh, prelims examination as well. So in this particular video, we will talk about what are the uh, key working areas for general awareness and how to maximize our uh, uh, score in uh, this particular subject. So I'll share my uh, own strategy for general awareness, key, uh, like what are the key working areas or what are the important topic in current affairs as well as banking awareness and financial awareness and uh, static CK as well. So uh, guys, uh, as you know, like if you if you talk about uh, phase one examination, so they ask you 80 questions of 80 marks and they give you only 25 minutes to solve these uh, 80 questions. So in this particular examination, you need some uh, speed and accuracy. So if you have that much of speed and accuracy, now, so like you can easily score 60 plus in this particular examination. Now, how to score 60 plus, uh, we will uh, talk about, I'll give you answer for this particular question in this particular session. So those who are new to our channel, please uh, do subscribe our channel and uh, please do watch this particular video till uh, the end. And if you find useful, so you can also share with your friends as well. So guys, uh, whenever we talk about general awareness, so this is, as I said, this is one of the most uh, scoring subject for uh, in your prelims examination or in your phase one examination. So it uh, it take uh, less time to uh, preparation in, all, in your preparation as well. And uh, like if you target few areas, like uh, if you target current affairs and banking awareness and financial awareness, so it will generally help you to boost up your score and all. Even if you prepare for banking and financial awareness, so that will also help you in your ESI as well as finance. And even during your interview as well, so these concepts or these uh, topics will definitely going to help you. So now, uh, if you talk about general awareness for RB grade B, so first we'll come to uh, the basic or the required syllabus for this particular examination. And then we'll talk key, uh, how to approach each and every uh, uh, topic or each and every subject. You know, okay? So whenever we talk about key study areas for this uh, particular one, so we have... Um, we have uh, three areas. First one is banking and financial awareness and second one is current affairs and third one is static ZK. So whenever we talk about key study areas, so general awareness that generally include three uh, uh, areas or we can say three uh, subtopics. So first one is banking and financial awareness. Another one is current affairs and third one is static zero. So if I talk you like if you asked me a question ki what is the weightage of current affairs or static ZK or banking and financial awareness. So we have like uh, uh, if you go for uh, uh, last year examination they generally ask 60% question from current affairs and 30% from banking and financial awareness including economic awareness and remaining 10% from static ZK. But previously, they generally ask question like um, they ask 40% question from your banking and financial awareness, 50% from current affairs, and remaining 10% from uh, your static. If you go for 2017, 18, and all, and this is for 2019, 20 examination. So now they are following this one. Like after seeing this particular weightage, now uh, we, we uh, will end to a conclusion that is. If these two subjects are the most important for your um, uh, uh, phase one examination. Okay. So you need to work on current affairs as well as banking and financial awareness. Okay. There are few uh, uh, like that. there are few matter those who only say you just go for current affairs and all. Okay. Uh, but I never recommend my student to just go for current affairs and all of other things. So you need to work toward the you need a proper balance in banking awareness, financial awareness, as well as current affairs. So this, like if you go for the banking and financial awareness now, so these topic, like we have some topic, common topic, which are also part of your, uh, uh, like we can say ESI or which are also part of your finance and management. So like monetary policy, inflation, or uh, uh, like digital economy and all these kind of topics. So like uh, they, 
these are the most important areas for your examination purpose. So how to prepare current static GK or what are the key working areas in static GK? We'll talk about that particular one as well. So first, first uh, we have current affairs uh, as per the current um, uh, exam curriculums and all. So they have given maximum weightage to current affairs. The overall weightage is about 60% in uh, last year examination. Now the question is, how many months current affairs we should prepare so i would recommend please go for six to seven months current affairs again so please go for the last six to seven months current affairs you can also divide this particular one into two part one is recent four to five months and then uh, uh, previous two to three months okay you can categorize this one into two categories so for this one for recent four to five months you have to study in core and for previous two to three months, you can go for major, major data and all. Okay? So you can go for major updates or topmost update and all. Okay? So you can, like, you need to prepare six to seven months current affairs for your RV grade B examination. And for that particular, like, you can also uh, classify this particular time duration into two parts. So apart from that, you have to make your daily current affairs notes. Okay? So, like, you have to jot down these particular current affairs on daily basis. Every day you will find uh, 5 to 7 questions uh, which are generally relevant for your uh, RBA grade B examination. Out of 7 questions, you will get 5 questions are to the points and for 2 questions you have to uh, uh, like you have to cater some information or you have to uh, jot down these particular thing in detail as well. So this is your time duration you know. Now second question is what are the most important topic for um, current affairs which are frequently asked in RBA grade B examination. So I'll give that particular answer as well. So these are some topics which are very important for your RBA grade B. First one is banking and financial related updates. It means let's say there is a like um, RBA gave license to a new bank or even there is an existing bank who came with some new kind of um, saving account or some new kind of mobile applications and all. So these kind of update are very important. Even uh, news or circular release by RBA again that is very important you know. So second one is economic current affairs means let's say government of India they came with some new uh, tax policy or RBA came with a uh, monetary policy and they made some changes or uh, in case of inflation we have some changes and all these kind of things. So uh, current related to your banking, financial and economy. This is very important area guys. Then we have national and international news. So if you if you ask for preferences, I'll say you go for national current affairs. Okay. So like uh, examiner, they generally give more weightage to national current affairs. But if you talk about international current affairs now or international news, so there are few areas which are very important like uh, international organizations like um, IMF, World Bank or UNESCO or United Nations or we can say uh, ADB, AIB and all these kind of organizations. And apart from that, we have some international alliances and group as well. Like we have uh, SCO, we have uh, uh, SAR, we have G7, we have G20 and all these kind of group which is again very important. So you can go for uh, the news related to these particular areas. You know. Second one, if you talk about um, appointment, so I would say go for only uh, 4 to 5 months appointments uh, which are uh, like generally happen in banking or financial system or any new chairman or CEO and all and even apart from that uh, like some major appointments in government departments as well, you can go for that particular one, like any new cab or a CGI or uh, election commissioner, all these kind of uh, like finance secretary and all these kind of major appointments. So you can go for that one as well. Next one, we have awards and um, functions. So I would recommend go for only three to uh, four months awards and honors. So like uh, you can go for uh, some international as well, like we have uh, Academy Awards, we have BAFTA, we have Nobel Prize and all. And uh, at national level, we have Padma Sri and all these kind of awards, which are quite important. But timing is, you can limit your timing uh, up to three to four months. Next one, uh, again, this is very important area that is uh, uh, government schemes. So, like we, uh, whenever we, we talk about uh, government examination, they generally ask uh, scheme released by central government. So, central government, they release two type of scheme. One is central sector scheme, where 100% funding is generally done by central government. Second one is centrally sponsored scheme. So, whenever you are reading government schemes, now, go for 
schemes those schemes which are generally released by government of india or we can say government of india have some sharing so like uh, even the, we like there are number of new schemes or initiative which are also taken by state government but you can ignore that particular portion okay? if you find there is some uh, initiative taken by any state which was uh, in news so you can go for that particular one otherwise you can uh, uh, ignore state news and all thing okay? or state related schemes and all next one prominent um, institute in news like um, we have say the irda or uh, like pfrd or any like isro like drdo so if you have some news related to this particular area you can go for that one as well next one we have uh, report and indices so whenever we talk again this particular segment is again quite important one thing so examiner they generally ask three kind of questions first one is like this is also part of your uh, esi again so they generally ask in your general awareness they generally ask question based on uh, like uh, who released that particular report or we can say uh, like uh, key, um, uh, what was India's rank in that particular report and who stopped this particular one. In phase 2 you will get the question based on the element of uh, that particular report, how we decide the report and all. So whenever we talk about current affairs, this is one of the most important area for your RBA grade B paper. So please do take care about these particular things, make your own notes and go for daily basis current affairs and all. And you can uh, follow some newspaper, you can uh, read some articles or some, uh, we can say, uh, weekly or monthly magazines, you know, like uh, Yojana or Kurukshetra and all. Okay. So I, I take a session on that particular one, yeah, your uh, sources for uh, learning, you know. So I come with a dedicated session on that particular area as well. So I hope this is clear. Next one, we have banking and economy. So again, this is very important uh, uh, area, guys. Again, like there are few mentors who generally say Ki, you can ignore this particular portion, but I never recommend that particular thing. I would say Ki, go for banking and economy all of portion. Okay. So there is a high probability. Like this particular segment will generally help you to understand current affairs or it will also help you in your phase two examination or even during your interview, this particular segment will also help you. Okay. So whenever we talk about banking and economic related um, uh, 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 topics or awareness, so we have like number of topics like uh, uh, RBI's function, or we have monetary policy, we have inflation, we have NABARD and PSL, priority sector lending, we have a payment bank, small finance bank, we have uh, like a digital banking and all. So these kind of topics. So you need to know about the basic fundamentals of these particular topics. Like topic are, you, these are some selected topics. Like you need to go um, at least for these particular topics. So we have RBI and its uh, monetary policy. Now about RRB and also you can also include uh, priority sector lending. Budget and fiscal policy again very important one. Banking abbreviation. So you will get at least two to three questions from this particular area. And whenever they ask question based on banking awareness, they ask three, uh, like most of time they ask question from three major areas. Like first one is uh, uh, term used by RBI. Second one is government initiatives. And third one is digital uh, uh, banking related things and all. Okay? So like term used by RBI means like uh, recently RBI used open market operation, TLTRO, or we can say DPI and all these kind of terminology. If you talk about government schemes like we have Mudra, we have Swanidhi and all these kind of things. If you talk about uh, digital banking, we have BBPS or we have um, like Swift, these kind of things. So they generally ask question based on or any new initiatives and all that they can ask you in your examination. So we have maximum probability from this particular area. Then we have digital banking again nowadays like uh, Indian banking system we are uh, working on this particular area. There are number of initiatives which are generally taken by uh, individual bank as well as RBI. So this particular portion is again very important one. Financial inclusion means um, like initiative taken by government of India and RBI toward financial inclusion. That is very important one. Then we have finance bank, small finance bank and the payment bank. Again, uh, one important topic. Apart from that, so we have a regulatory bodies like say we heard of PFRD and others. Okay? So that is very important one here. So you need to know about the basic things about these uh, regulatory bodies and all. Capital market, again, uh, like for phase one, you need to know the basic of capital market, like uh, SEBI related things, or uh, BAC, NAC, their indices and all, market capitalization, or we can say uh, 
uh, primary markets, secondary markets, and all these kind of things. And again, we have money market. So money market in this one, you need to know about the basic instruments of money market, like treasury bills, dated government securities, a call money, notice money, term money, commercial paper, certificate of deposit, these kind of instruments. So you need to know about their features, their risk and return, their denomination, and all these kind of things. Inflation is again very important area. So uh, uh, you, you need to know about the um, like uh, CPI, WPI, their calculations, their base year. Like we have different terminologies which are which is generally associated with inflation topic and all. Like uh, stagflation, recession, hyperinflation, and all these kind of terminologies. And initiative taken for marginal sector and women. Again, this is a very important area. So we have these topics which generally are uh, related to economy, banking, and economy. And the, like we do have an importance of this particular area. Generally, we give a 40% weightage to this particular one, but in last year, they only asked 30% question from this particular portion. And this area will definitely going to help you in your phase two, as well as during your interview as well. So please, uh, like you can start with banking and financial awareness, along with you can prepare your daily current affairs, and then finally come to static ZK. So we have least weightage of static ZK. They'll ask you seven to eight questions based on static ZK. And out of seven question or eight question, they'll ask five question from uh, current affairs related things. It means like they ask uh, a question based on any national park and that national park was in news in last three or four months. Okay? So like if you are, if you are um, making your daily current affairs notes and all now, so they'll also help you to um, score better in the static awareness segment as well. So static awareness, I would not say ki go for the data application things and all because we have a lot of data. Okay? So go for current oriented thing. If there is a national park or any dam or any wildlife century that was in use in last four to five months. So you can go for that particular data. Okay. Let's say there was a country which was in news or India signed some MOUs with that particular country. So you can go for that particular country's currency, capital or other thing as well. So do not, please do not waste your time on statics again. Do not go for rectification or things and all. So you can cover this particular thing for uh, during your current affairs area and all. Think like out of seven questions, they ask five questions based on current affairs. For two questions, you cannot uh, go for that rectification and also that will like that is a totally waste of time. So I would recommend to all of you guys. So th these are some important areas like important days and themes. This is like in every examination, they ask one or two questions based on days and theme. If they are asking question based on days, so they'll ask up, up to six months. And if they are asking question based on theme, it will be uh, from last three to four months. Okay. So people and places and news, again, uh, current oriented things from last three to four months. And governor and chief minister, or we can say, if there is some a new appointment of governors and chief and chief minister and all, you can go for that particular one. Currency, capital, stadiums, national dams or park or a uh, nuclear power plants and all. So you can go for uh, uh, like we can say current oriented things and all. So I hope you got this particular. One. So guys, if you talk about general awareness, this this is like this is one of the most important subject in your phase one examination and that will also help you in uh, phase two as well. So uh, this is. Uh, like uh, we uh, share how to prepare what are the key important areas or key working areas for a general awareness subject okay. so now i'll brief my session so you you need to focus on current affairs segment along with you can go for banking awareness or i think okay. then read a daily newspaper or monthly magazine you can go for monthly magazine or at least read one newspaper on regular basis watch new channels for new channels, I would suggest ki go for like uh, we have Live Mint, we have uh, uh, The Quint or we have uh, We on new channels and all. So these kind of new channels who generally like these new channels, they provide you really good data and all. So you, you can go for these one and make up uh, notes. So you have to jot down these particular thing on regular basis. Whatever you are reading, just make a short note on that particular one that will also help you uh, in your phase two examination whenever you have to write that descriptive things and all and uh, you can write that particular thing in your own language 
then uh, you have to attempt uh, quizzes on daily basis you can go for a topic oriented quiz as well let's say you uh, you read about inflation so now you you need to practice some question based on inflation okay? if you are not able to answer some question and all so you need to cross check your fundamentals and all okay? then you can take sectional text as well and you need to uh, revise things on regular basis so you have to make a revision plan on a weekly basis or monthly basis as well okay so uh, like guys as i said ki uh, uh, this is one of the most scoring subject but you have limited time okay yeah, so you have uh, only 25 minute to solve 80 equations and uh, like they'll give you 80 marks okay? so for that particular thing you need that accuracy and speed you need a combination of accuracy and speed okay yeah? so that is very important for this particular examination so like if you go for the, uh, daily things and all if you make your notes in, like that will give you, uh, that will generally boost your, uh, uh, we can say, confidence level and all. So, go for, focus on accuracy, practice things on a regular basis, Re read question carefully, uh, like, um, do not, do not uh, spend much time on any individual question and all, okay? and uh, use elimination techniques and um, work on your speed and all, okay? so speed and accuracy, that will definitely going to help you in your upcoming examination. So guys, uh, in this particular session, we talk about general awareness. So general awareness that is generally divided into three parts. Uh, among three parts, we have uh, banking awareness, financial awareness, and second one is current affairs, and third one is strategy. So uh, initial two parts, banking awareness and financial awareness, and uh, your current affairs. These are the most important areas for your uh, upcoming examination. So please, uh, you need to work on uh, daily current affairs. You have to jot down these particular things and you need to be uh, like you need to clear your fundamentals about banking and financial or economic related terminologies. So um, you can like I'll uh, like you can also mention your topic in comment section. So I'll come with some videos. They'll give you more clarity about that particular topic. Even I'll come with some uh, MCQ session based on uh, individual topics and also they'll give you an idea ki how to prepare that particular area and what are the uh, fundamentals of that particular topic as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this particular session. If you have any query about RB grade B, so please uh, do mention in comment section. I'll definitely uh, get back to you. And if you like this session, please um, do share with your friends. And uh, if you are new to our channel, please uh, do subscribe and uh, share with other one as well. So this is it from my side guys. Thank you for watching this session. Bye bye. Take care all. Thank you.